Mechanic Simulator 2018 with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you guys are all well and enjoying your day, whatever you're up to. Um, so, we finally got round to doing the uh, police car project, yes. You heard me right, yep. Yeah. Let's try and make this thing look like a police car. Um, so, that is the plan. But before we get to the nitty gritty, let's just take all the panels off. I don't know if this thing starts, so we'll try it. I doubt it. But we'll take all the panels off first. It, this was a barn find. It's not a bad nick, to be honest. The body doesn't look too bad. If we took, take a quick look at the states before we do anything else. General body, that's probably deteriorated because I've taken some of the parts off, but. You know, they're probably not overly that bad, to be fair. Um, you know, uh, general parts condition, as you can see, is probably not great. Um, we'll just take... Leave the seats in for now. Well, didn't start. I wasn't expecting it to start. Oops. Um, let's take all the interiors out as well. I hate it how it won't let me come out here. Thank you. Alright. Let's take all this front off. Sorry if you can hear a lot of bang crashing in the background. Next door having the roof done, so. Case of a, uh, I'm gonna put up with it. All right. Let's do some fundamental tests first. Let's do the usual checks. No, let's not move the car. Um, let's go in and do diagnostics tests. So do the compression tests. That doesn't look good. I'd say the engine's well tired. As you do get with barn finds, the body works not too bad, but the engine definitely definitely needs a bit of TLC. Uh, check tires. Replacing them anyway, but gives you idea guys a idea of what state of the car is before I even do any more bits to it. Yeah, the tyres are all tired as well. The wheels would be knackered as well. Do electrics test. Yep. As I suspected. Right, let's get the battery out anyway. Let's tear this out. Tear this out. Tear this out. And the engine will leave. Because that's going to come out via the for the hoist anyway. I did take the glass out, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Cool. Did I take the back glass out? No, I didn't. Take that out. Like, I don't think you can repair the glass yet. I haven't got the new DLC as yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or not. Um, if it's something you guys would be interested in seeing, let me know. And then I'll definitely think about getting it. I think the last time I saw it was like two or three quid, which isn't a massive amount of money. It just it's a case of it's a little Jeep, it's a Willis Jeep. Um not that I'm not sort of like interested in Willis Jeeps, you know, they can be a bit of fun. But we've got so much to do in the shop as is. We've got so many projects to work on at the moment anyway. Um, it doesn't warrant getting it as yet. I might get it soon. If you guys like it. If you guys want to see it that is. Um, if you guys aren't really particularly bothered. Then it's not something I need to worry about straight away. I can wait till a steam sale pops up or whatever. 
I know, as I say, it's only two or three quid, which isn't going to be breaking the bank, but, you know, if you, do, if you can save two or three quid on something else and buy something else which would benefit the, the chat, well, you can save two or three, if I could save two or three quid on something else that perhaps benefit the channel in another way, then, and then I'll do that instead. Um, Something which I'm thinking of doing um, to help the channel out. Now, for you guys that do watch my farming simulator and as well as this, um, big thank you to you guys first of all. Um, what I'm planning on doing, um, I've already pre-ordered the DLC, the Platinum DLC. Now, what I was thinking of doing, I'll mention this again in my farming simulator just for just in case but um as a sort of like thank you to all you loyal subs that have been hanging well say hanging around but been sticking with me and putting up my antics for such a long time um i was thinking of, sort of like giving something back to the community um which would be the dlc the Platinum DLC add-on. Um, won't buy the actual full game, so you're going to need a Steam copy of of Farming Simulator. And you will need, well, a Steam copy of Farming Simulator. And that's it. That's all you're going to need. You don't, if you have the, lead, well, if you have the hard copy or the or if you downloaded it directly from Giants, it won't work, unfortunately. So it will alienate some of you guys that do have bought it through the Giants website. Um, and I can only apologise about that. Um, but it's something which I've been toying with for a while. Um, and it's something which I've always wanted to do, but one never had the funds to do it. Um, I don't really have the funds to do it now, really, um, but it's not that, it's it's a case of, it's not overly that expensive, and I really wanted to do something, you know, just to say, you know, I'm aware what you, go, you go to support, I know, like I've been saying recently, the views have dropped, most of the content that I upload nowadays and I think that's happening throughout YouTube I don't think it's just something personal to me I think it's happened to a lot of YouTubers I see Owen Robinson struggling the views um, see Squirrels is dropping Mr Moose is dropping don't know about Dags because I don't watch his stuff what do you know typically I try and avoid him like the plague if I can don't like the guy but whoops might as well whip this out the back out as well That's the one thing I forgot to do in all the excitement in all the excitement I forgot to go and put this battery on charge which I'll do now start that on charge because like I've said in the past in real life, and you guys probably know in real life, batteries don't just charge instantaneously. A typical car battery, depending on how flat it is, um, if you put it on an actual charger like that, you're looking at least, at least two or three hours. Depending on how flat it is. If it's completely flat, then it's probably going to be at least 24 hours to get some real decent charge in it. 12 to 24, depending on how good your charger is and how its load rate is, because it's better to s slow charge a battery like that, because they're not deep cell batteries. Um, deep cell batteries tend to um, give a higher output or a higher ampage, or deep cycle, I should say. Deep cycle batteries. They tend to use them in like motorhomes and stuff like that. Some people use them in sort of like projects like for. Um, Solar power and panels and stuff like that, working off grid, all that sort of good stuff. Um, 
deep cycles they do they need to be slowly charged you can't just wallop a load of power into them straight off the bat because they just you know, destroy the battery trying to do that and it won't charge if you don't charge it slowly it will just either cook the battery or it won't cook the battery but the battery won't ever be as useful as it should be Yeah, don't worry, no one's attacking me with an angle mind or a cut off. So it's some the money store. They're having some roof work done on their uh, garage and it's just a veneer shop on my window, so. Come on. Why won't you let me click on the drum? That's it, that's what I wanted to do. been doing a great deal and again I've just been working and uh, sort of like more or less sort of like chilling more or less doing a great deal I've been sort of like watching a few um, horror films just because it's that time of recording it's just getting near Halloween because there's naff all on TV these days Halloween wise um, it's a, you know, the case of oh great, okay, there's nothing on TV, so I might as well just uh, watch a few DVDs. I mean, watching Saw and Final Dance Destination. Now, does this thing? Oh, put it down like that. I doubt it's going to need training. I'm, I've just, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to say it doesn't, because nine times out of ten, with fine finds it doesn't. I'm probably going to regret this, but. At least it won't take me too long to get the drainer under it. Pull out. Yeah, I told you. I just left exhaust brackets in there. Pull them out on a minute too. Uh, put the engine on the stand. It's always upside down. Now, I told it to click left, but it still clicked right anyway. It's a weird bug. Hey ho. Anyway, there it is. It's ready to be worked on. We'll work on it at some point. First of all, it's. Fix what we can fix. Break what we can break. Looks like most of that survived. Let's take the tyres off. Deceiving. Right. There we go. Cool. I think they've all survived the repair process, which is cool. Uh, right, so let's get the bring it down on the deck, first of all. 
Let's bring the well driver to lift one. Next episode we'll work on this. One, because then we'll be in the middle of the shop. Because I'm always doing work over here. I always find it easy to be over here, but there's another whole rest of the shop we'll never use. So I'm going to try and get onto this one next. Right. Let's use this bit of equipment. Uh, use. Are you sure? Hmm, I'm going to think about it for a little while. Right. Return to sender. So that's done some bits and bobs. It makes the frame pretty good. Um, oops. The interior condition is not overly that bad. But we're still going to clean it up anyway. To make the buzz to make this buzz kill car, as I'm going to call it. Um, as good as it can be. And I can also go back home. Let's see, let's just see what the value of this is. So £6,000 just for a frame. Or a body that's been cleaned up and welded. I'm going to start stock, sticking the rolling gear back in and I'll probably leave it at that guy, so I don't want it over going too long. I'll start doing the work on the front end. some more cake pushings on I before I continue and uh, while I'm in here I'll get the other bits and pieces the suspension gonna need these two of them two of them Them. I think I only need one front spring because I've got one already to them. Uh, two inners and two outers, two inners. And do 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 do. Brakes, 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 brakes. So these two of them. Two of them. And two of them. Oh, I forgot to get the cape pushings and all that the excitement. Suspension. Wish you could just roll up on a on a mouse to increase the number. If you're listening. Red dot. An idea for you. Just make a bit life a bit easier. You could roll up and down on the middle mouse to like you do when scrolling. Just increase or decrease the number. Uh, I don't know if there are any small rubber machines I've got. I think I might still have some of them, so I'm not gonna get any just yet. Um I think that is it. For now. Bones and stuff in. I have to put the suspension bits, the uh, shock absorber, and the spring in in a bit because I have not yet got that joined together. I've got the bits, just not got them joined together yet. So in the tire rod, now the tire rod. Hello. 
those. One of 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 those. Move the wheel off. Throw that in. Throw that on. Oh. Brake caliper didn't make it. I thought it fixed everything. Well, it's not. Brakes. Brake caliper. suspension sets together quickly put the rubber bushings in while I'm waiting got to do the inner and out I'll do that in a sec throw that on Um. Did I do all of them? No, I thought I'd forgotten one. Park mount. Quite a lot of this made it actually. It's quite good. Now, apart from one of those brake cylinders, didn't look well. Again, it's still limited wheel on, but I'm not finished yet. Oh, that didn't make it. Okay. Those made it, which is good. Don't think the springs made it though. I'm going to need two sets of rear springs and some caps. Yeah. Two of them as well, don't I? Two. Type B's, I think they are. Shock absorbers. So we've got a uh, rubber bushing to go in there. Cape bushing. Right, cool. So we need rear knuckle housing type B. Two of these. Two of these. Two of these. And uh, rear knuckle housing type. B type B Yeah, break 
Wilson, but I didn't think it made it. I had a sneaky suspicion it didn't. Uh, so, break. Slave cylinder. I said master cylinder, it's actually a slave cylinder, isn't it? Yep. There we go. Did we get those? We did. Pretty sure we did. Throw them in. Throw that on. Fuel tank as well, aren't I? Let's grab that while I'm in there. It's under the engine, isn't it? The fuel tank. Brand spanking new fuel tank. Did a fuel pump get repaired? Just did. Cool. So, as things stand, this is a basic rolling chassis. No wheels, but it's technically a rolling chassis, so you could roll it around, just need to stick some wheels on it. So, how much is it worth? As things stand. Well, it's almost doubled its money at the moment, so it's just over. No, it's almost 14 grand. Um, so interior condition 100%, frame condition 100%, general parts condition 31%, general body condition 8%. I don't know what body part it's on about then. Because there's no body parts on this, not that I can see anyway. No. I've got everything off. But I'll leave it at that, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did, please remember to say, uh, to say, please remember to like. And uh, if you didn't like the episode, again, feel free to dislike. But please let me know why you didn't like it in the in the comments down below, so I can improve in the future. If you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, again, guys and girls, feel free to share. It helps me out a lot, and I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel and you'll see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.